Good morning, 12th grade. We are on our second week of online learning. Today, we are finishing up Julius Caesar through reading Act 5.4. We have one more scene to read after 5.4. So um, we're really getting towards the end of the play and resolving all those conflicts that we've been seeing. Uh, throughout the course and the development of the play. So if you, I'm gonna share my screen actually. Okay. And this week we have, we are evaluating dialogue today. Okay. Um, focus objective, I can evaluate the impact of dialogue specifically in Act 5.4. So after our mindful minute, which we'll take as a group, and if you don't join us for the live session, please take a mindful minute at some point during your day. Uh, there's this document here in the Google Classroom, is dialogue really that important? And so if you click through the Google slide on this document here or this link right here, the, the screen will prompt you to another screen where that article will open. Otherwise, I also posted the article in the Google Classroom. So you can access it either way. We're gonna spend some time reading through this article together. It's published a few years back um, and it's by a screenwriter or someone who comments on screenwriting. Article starts here, Norma Desmond, may not have thought that dialogue was all that important. Lovably bitter wretch that she was, but she was wrong. Dialogue is one of the absolute most important elements of screenplay. So the article goes down one, two, three reasons. Um, it's a, I don't, I wouldn't say it's like a blog, but it's, it's, it's an opinion nonetheless that someone has. So we're going to spend some time working through what this opinion is on dialogue and really just have a conversation on whether or not dialogue is the most important thing. And for her, she seems to believe that dialogue is crucial. So we'll spend some time just discussing why that is. And then as we jump into Act 5.3, this is a, or sorry, 5.4. This is a super short scene. It's only two pages. I copy and pasted the pages of the text that you'll see. Um, so we have Brutus, Cato, Lucilius, we have the first and second soldier, and we have Antony. And in this scene, Lucilius dresses up as Brutus, and Mark Antony realizes that it is not Brutus, it is in fact, excuse me, Lucilius. So that's a little just component to keep in mind. The assignment after we read through to consider the impact of Brutus's dialogue. So I pulled out two pieces of dialogue and we're gonna just evaluate the importance of that dialogue and if it's really that impactful, and if so, why. The first piece of dialogue that we're analyzing is, and I am Brutus, Marcus Brutus, I, Brutus, my country's friend, know me for Brutus. So the question there is, what's the point of Brutus's dialogue and what does it reveal about Brutus's character? Even though Lucilius is the one that's saying it, right? It would have been what Brutus is saying. Second part of that, assignment is after Brutus rallies his men, they exit and they're fighting and then Cato is killed. So we know that Lucilius is captured and pretending to be Brutus. And when Antony comes onto the scene, he praises Lucilius's bravery, right? Which is maybe not the, the um, reaction you would expect. And he says to his men, this is not Brutus, friend, I assure you. A prize no less in worth. Keep this man safe. Give him all kindness. I had rather have such men my friends than enemies. So again, thinking about the importance of dialogue, the fact that Antony says this aloud to other members in the room, what's the point of him saying that? And what is that, um, what, do, what do those words reveal about Antony's character? The rubric for the assignment is posted here. So what is the point? I'm going to change actually this word. I'm going to put this as impact. Impact of Brutus's dialogue, what it reveals about Brutus's character and why. I'm going to bold that. That why is really the 
analysis and the thinking, the taking your thinking to the next step. The, I'm gonna change word point here, impact of Antony's dialogue. What does it reveal about Antony's character and why? And then of course, you get credit, sorry, credit for your organization, your spelling, your mechanics. Should be two paragraphs because you're gonna need one space to kind of work through Brutus's dialogue and then another separate space to work through Antony's dialogue. You, you, you should treat these as two separate questions. Although you're doing the same process for each question, please separate the two paragraphs. So again, we're considering the impact of dialogue. We're starting off by looking at why dialogue is so important or is dialogue really all that important? I think you will find that it is important. And then we're gonna read through this very short scene and then look at one excerpt of Brutus, really Lucilius, but Brutus, and then one excerpt of Antony. Um, then we have only one more scene to get through, and that is the, the final resolution scene. So please take your time with this. Again, if you have any questions, always shoot me an email and let me know how I can be of any more support to you guys. All right, thanks.